We are often interested in understanding the way that Y is affected as X change. In this situation, we wish to estimate F, but our goal is not necessarily to make predictions for Y. We instead want to understand the relationship between X and Y, or more specifically, to understand how Y changes as a function of X. Now the function of Y cannot be treated as a black box, because we need to know its exact form. For instance, consider a company that is interested in conducting a direct marketing campaign. The goal is to identify individuals who will respond positively to a mailing, based on observations of demographic variables measured on each individual. In this case, the demographic variables serve as predictors, and response to the marketing campaign, either positive or negative, serves as the outcome. The company is not interested in obtaining a deep understanding of the relationships between each individual predictor and the response, instead, the company simply wants an accurate model to predict the response using the predictors. This is an example of modeling for prediction. In contrast, consider the following questions. Which media contribute to sales? Which media generate the biggest boost in sales? Or, how much increase in sales is associated with a given increase in TV advertising? This situation falls into the inference paradigm. Today we learn the difference between prediction and inference. It is important to know the difference before we start building any machine learning model. Thank you, if you like my video, please subscribe.